Across the ACP, African, Caribbean, and Pacific group of countries, around three million people are working as fishers, traders, and processors. The sector faces many problems, including weak and ineffective governance, poor policies, and bad institutional structures. This has led to the widespread degradation and depletion of the natural resource base, and thus to greater poverty among fishing communities, a decline in food security, and in general, a suboptimal use of fisheries resources. To address these problems, the ACP Fish 2 program was set up and became operational in June 2009, with some 20 million euros of funding from the EU's Ninth European Development Fund to address direct activities in the field. The program focuses on strengthening fisheries sectorial policy development and implementation, thus ensuring sustainable and equitable management of fisheries in ACP countries. The program is built up around five key action areas: improved fisheries policies and management, reinforced control and enforcement capabilities, scientific research strategies and initiatives, improved regulatory structures supporting private sector investments, increased knowledge sharing and trade. As the problems do not stop at borders, just as fish do not. The program is targeted at national and regional levels. It has taken a regional focus to ensure regional cooperation for the management of the shared stocks. In order to support the demand-driven approach that the program was built on, regional workshops were organized to define national and regional needs, to propose and approve the projects to be implemented, and to later on follow up on the projects and control their implementation. As they are attended by representatives of fisheries administrations and regional fisheries bodies from all countries in all the regions, they strongly contribute to the creation in every region of common interests and a common understanding of the problems and potential for solving them. The most effective way to involve all concerned entities in fisheries development is to empower those who are affected by the actions and make them responsible to find the best solutions. More than 150 stakeholder consultative and validation workshops will support and achieve this participatory approach, thus assuring the ownership of project results by the beneficiaries. Through 182 capacity building projects that provide technical assistance, training, and other support tools. People working in fisheries administrations and other stakeholders gain new skills and knowledge, which is transferred beyond the scope of the program. Fifteen countries in the Caribbean region are covered by ACP Fish 2: Antigua and Barbuda, Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Dominica, Dominican Republic, Grenada, Guyana, Haiti, Jamaica, Saint Kitts and Nevis, Saint Lucia. Saint Vincent and the Grenadines, Suriname, Trinidad and Tobago. The program regional unit is based in Belize City, Belize, and is responsible for the 29 selected projects to answer the needs of the region. The program coordinates and collaborates with key regional fisheries bodies and regional economic organizations. The ACP Fish 2 program inspires fisheries administrations and stakeholders to strive towards sustainable fisheries. The secrets to its success have been collaboration, information sharing, know-how transfer, and expertise. Find out more about the success of this major initiative from the website at acpfish2bareu.org. Play your part and fly the flag for sustainable fisheries management in ACP countries. <laughs>